Hey, how's it going? It's Eric from Ebucky Now. And today we have this monster, the Calibre Carbon Wraith. So as the name suggests, it's everything carbon, pretty much from the wheels to the frame. Um, yeah, and it comes with a crank drive system, full suspension setup. You know, it's even got a dropper post. Um, so I'm really keen to get this out on trails and see how it goes. So let's test it out. People are always pushing the boundaries of anything. Whether it's how deep into space we can travel or how many hot dogs we can eat in one minute, humans are always... <laughs> wow, that's impressive. Is, that, is anyone seeing this? Oh, <laughs> Humans are always striving to push it one step further. So, how does a company push an e-bike further? Well, how does a carbon fiber frame, carbon fiber wheels, carbon fiber handlebars, dual crown forks, rear shock and Michelle gripped our tire sound? Pretty good, right? Well, ladies and gentlemen, I want to welcome the Calibre Carbon Wraith. This high-end machine is no joke. Priced at around the $7,000 mark, the Shimano XT fitted e-bike is for this series. And, well, of course, the wealthy. You'll find the carbon frame blacked out in a matte finish featuring a single pivot linkage for the rear shock, alongside some cross-country slash all-mountain style geometry. Aside from these points, there isn't really much more to say about the looks of this bike. It's simply black and looks like it's ready for Batman to ride it. However, a lot can be said about the components. Like I said, the Wraith is kitted with some Shimano XT components. These include the brakes, the cassette, the railer, and shifters. The crankset is an in-house e-bike specific component and the pedals are from Shimano Saint. These are popular flats from Shimano's downhill flagship group set. With raving reviews, I can agree that these are a pleasure to use. Most high-end bikes don't offer you pedals, however Calibre did, so I'm kind of surprised, but more so impressed by the pedals that they chose to offer. They didn't just give us some cheap stuff. Now with XT fitted brakes, you can imagine that they will perform well, right? Well, let's see how they perform in the brake test. Oh, and just before I show you this, take this with a grain of salt, because the surface and the tires when I'm riding and testing all these bikes differ from each review. So anyway, without further ado, cue the test. So at the heart of the Wraith is a Calibre tuned Bafang mid-drive, which is capable of providing a continuous 750 watts at the flick of your thumb or push of the cranks. The motor is quoted to peak at 1200 watts that will surge through the 27.5 inch carbon wheel set. These wheels are wrapped in 2.35 inch Michelin gripped R tires that will handle most of everything you throw at it. From my test, they did well and are fast rolling. I probably wouldn't use this in muddy or thick conditions as I read online that they don't perform too well in those environments. Powering the motor now is a 10.4 amp hour battery fitted with Panasonic cells. This is a 48 volt juice pack that can charge up in about 4 hours, which is the average time for most e-bikes. With this e-bike, Calibre claims that the Wraith has a maximum range of 65 kilometers and an average of about 40 kilometers. Obviously, it depends on how you use it. However, full throttle will most likely see you achieve 20 to 25 kilometers. To control all this comes a Calibre C965 meter. This is a LCD meter with the backlight and basic functions that show you the battery level, speed, and pedal assistance level, which there are five of. To the left is the control box that allows you to turn on and off the bike, set the pass, turn on the backlight, and also enable the cruise control, which <laughs> I don't see myself using anytime soon. As you may have noticed, the Wraith is armored with some serious suspension. 203 millimeters at the front. That's right, you heard that right. 203. This is thanks to the DNM USD 8s at the front. At the rear, you'll find DNM AOY36RC rear shock with lockout and rebound settings. Now, I personally think this setup is a little bit overkill. The 203mm at the front is some downhill stuff, but I can't imagine many people using this downhill. More of an all mountain cross country trail bike, where 150mm would have been more than enough. Now, another thing about this setup is that it kind of doesn't make sense. You have 203mm at the front, but only about 100mm at the rear. It hasn't been given, but I measured it somewhere between those numbers. I guess we'll ride it and see how it goes. One thing I forgot to mention is that the bike comes with a dropper post as well. Now, this one is also from DNM and equipped with a WTB Pure saddle. Ready? Yep. Okay. Woo! Bike really does climb anything. That easy. 
So, my writing experience with the Wraith was mixed. I'm not too sure how I feel about it or how to put it in words. So I guess let's begin with the performance. It's outstanding, hands down. Amazing and really fun to ride on the trails, especially if you ride those cross-country type or fast flowy trails. The caliber is a joy to use with that 1200 watts propelling you at 40 to 45 kilometers per hour, where you can climb those dreadful hills with ease. It gets your heart racing like you're all grom again. When you're at first gear and you throttle it, it gives you enough torque for the rest of the month. I mean, the throttle, the, the amount of torque that the caliber gives you is ridiculous, ridic, ridiculous. Oh God, I can't even talk right now. Let me check this out, watch. I can almost do a wheelie. Let me get into first gear. All right, All right. check this out, throttle. Oh, whoa. The brakes as expected from anything Shimano XT are top performers and really stop the bike. It's not just that though, but the modulation it provided was perfect. You can really feel the brakes and find control of the braking power. Now the Caliber e-bike was easy to use and the saddle was comfortable as well, with also the addition of the dropper post. Truly the Carbon Wraith is blistering fun to ride, but it has its setbacks. There's just something a little bit off. Like I mentioned before with the suspension setup, the relatively short travel at the rear doesn't really complement the long travel forks. You can find this when you ride it, where the front is just so plush compared to the rear. You have the front end feeling like a downhill bike, but the rear feel like a cross-country style bike. As a rider, your body and mind gets a little bit confused. In my opinion, I would have liked to see more of a cross-country slash or mountain bike with shorter travel forks. The USD 8s are just a bit too much and also are quite heavy. Weighing in at 3.7 kilograms, it makes an already heavy bike into a heavier one. Other competitor forks with 150mm travel are usually around the 2kg mark. Thus, you're saving a fair bit, which is important, hence the carbon frame set and wheels, right? I think the best way to put it is the Caliber Wraith is kind of like a teenager. It's young, full of energy and power, but isn't quite sure who they are yet. Am I a downhill bike or am I a cross-country bike? These are some of the questions that the Wraith would be asking. Hands down though, it is the most exhilarating bike I've ever tested but could be even better with some attention to the ergonomics and how the bike rides. Value wise, it's okay, it's decent. For those who don't know, Shimano XT group sets cost almost $800 and a full suspension carbon frame would set you back another thousand, as well as the carbon wheel set, the battery, uh, the suspension, and also the other components combined, so you get the point. So for $7,000, it's about the average price for a high-end full suspension electric bike. So bottom line is, for those looking for an exciting and fun bike to own, this could be your ticket. But for those enthusiasts out there who are really into their bikes and how they feel and ride and are also weight conscious, this may not be for you. So that wraps up the review. Thanks for watching guys and make sure to check out the full review on our website ebikingnow.com. If you like what you saw, please give us a thumbs up. Also, if you have any comments or questions, drop them down below. Follow us on Facebook and Instagram to stay up to date with the latest. And don't forget to turn on, hop on and ride on. Peace out. I'm hungry. Back, my neck, my back, my something.